Our next example is called Soap Bubbles. It's designed for fluids course and the topic is the property of fluids. And what we suggest you do is invite students to blow some bubbles using a straw and some detergent solution. So let's see if we can get some decent bubbles. There we go, so there was nice bubbles there. So when they've done that successfully, you can ask them to draw a free body diagram for a section of a spherical stationary bubble. And when they've done that, you can discuss the surface of the fluid behaves like a tension membrane and explain that the detergent acts like a surfacant with local variations in concentration, allowing changes in tension to accommodate shape changes. So you can see where the bubble is contouring around the end of the straw, it's not quite spherical, and it can hold that shape as a consequence of the detergent acting as a surfacant. 